if you want to reblog this, then the thing to do is just, it, you know, because I let, because it's live, I let the, you know, music go, you know, give people a little time to, you know, to, to get in there and uh, to get, you know, to say hello to each other because there's kind of a little bit, a little community here that's meeting and talking and wondering and, you know, we're all kind of holding hands and going, wow, this is just mind-blowing, you know. So I understand the need to kind of have connection with people because it's, it makes it easier, but still, you're still going to have butterflies in your stomach because um, it's it's massive. It's so massive. It's so unbelievable that it's that you know people are just shutting down and saying no. It's always been that way. Well, you can't look at South America and say it's always been that way unless a you're a liar or two. There's some other kind of witchcraft working where where or or we were always veiled like that, but they're still under a veil like we were. But now our eyes have been opened to something that perhaps has always been like that. But we keep making those adjustments, right? Oh, it's always been like that. Oh, it's always been. That. And that truly, when God does it, that's the way it is. It's always been that way, right? Then you start noticing it's happening hundreds of times a day. Thousands of times a day. Millions of times a day. Right? However many, right? It's all, you know, part of consciousness. It's like you think one thing, then you see it, right? Think it, then you see it. It's almost like you created it. That's right, folks. Kind of gives a new perspective to being a victim, you know, people that feel like they're targeted individuals and really struggling with that. And my heart goes out to you because I know how scary that is. But it's all consciousness manipulation, you see. Because, see, those dimensions, you know, where the, all of a sudden they're all against you, right? And then things have changed and it's impossible what they know. They're spouting things about you in the other aisle over there, talking about you, about things they couldn't possibly know. And they don't. It's a dimensional thing. You know, this is a, this is a mind F, if you will. Okay, this is a dimensional thing. And, you know, people didn't realize that. They just thought it was, well, the people are all possessed and that's why they're a hive. No, it's not. Because it changes the, the atmosphere, the, uh, the place itself isn't the same, where you're located. Because, you know, it's there. And, and to me, it's just, that's a spiritual attack, okay? You know, but you can call it, I mean, the you know, modern thing is gang stalking, but still, it's, it's, it's persecution, it's spiritual warfare. You're, you're wrestling not with these people, these zombies. You know what I mean? You're wrestling with the higher powers. And they do see you, but you're not a victim because, you see, um, this is a consciousness thing. It's what, what's the goal of this attack? It's to get you to be frightened, to blink, and to go run home to mommy. It's to, it's to get you to feel like you're a total failure and you should be dead. You know, no one likes you. Everyone knows everything about you. Everyone hates you. You're just uh, disgusting, and we're gonna like we're gonna haunt you, and we're gonna follow you, and we're gonna gonna ruin your life. We're gonna ruin your reputation. We're gonna beam you with satellites, and we're gonna sabotage your car. We're gonna break into your house when you're not there. We're just gonna ruin your life. And yes, all these people are all coordinated. All these people that you think are your neighbors, the the uh, the, the the postman, the uh, you know, the, the, the mechanic down there at the shop, the, uh, they're all in on it. Mm -hmm. It's a satanic attack. They're not all in on it. The point is, they're not all in on it. They never were all in on it. You've been, you know, in a sense, teleported to another dimension, if you will. I, you know, I hate that word now, but, you know, that's what we got, I guess. And uh, it happened to you there. I mean, it happened to me you know, a few years ago at, uh, at an Amco. Just getting alignment on the truck. And it was on, you know, the van pulling up and, you know, everyone was coordinated all of a sudden. We had peeled out of there, got out of there. But it was like um, they were on purpose sabotaging the truck and they were trying to make it so you couldn't even drive it. And it was just, uh, you know, then other people were involved and there were people that were part of a Holiday Inn thing. They were, they were you know, they, they were, everything thing was coalescing, all these people that don't know each other. And um, it was just amazing to see. And, you know, I, I kind of hung in there, had to, had to suck it up and have some courage. And I just forced the guy to, uh, you know, I said, you come with me and you drive this. So he, he, I made him drive it and, and, you know, he couldn't, and I said, now do it right. You know, so I, by being forceful and by being fairly courageous and confronting it, I was able to get it so that it was, you know, aligned right. And then um, peeled out of there, just took off, you know, just took off and kept driving because it was, it was, it was on. 
Oh, it didn't matter where I went. It, it, it continues. It follows you. It follows. So, you know, and it, it's pretty tough. It's, it's very, very tough oppression. Um, but yeah, you see things that are impossible. See, you see coincidence is impossible. You see people coalescing, it's impossible. You see people participating in the gaslighting and gang stalking, it's impossible. You see all this stuff coalescing suddenly out of nowhere, it's impossible. Unless, yeah, that's right, unless you were in another space and time. And then, and then you weren't. And uh, because it affects the atmosphere, the physics, the people, you know, I mean, it's easier to think there's a powerful demon that's going to possess, you know, everybody around the site where you're located. And then they all start coordinating toward you, meaning they none have free will. I would go so far as to say is that the actual attack itself and that coalescing is impossible. It's not possible. And it didn't even happen. Not in real reality. It was more like a dream world, but still affects you, you know. Then the next time you see these people, next time you go into that AMCO, everybody's normal. Well, what do you know? Or maybe not. But the one thing it does do is, you know, because it's all part of this, this issue, right? This thing we've been talking about lately, it's all part of that, isn't it? And um, I'm just here to say you're not a victim. You know, that, that I mean, people are victims of crimes too, you know, or they say all of a sudden, they just get their purse stolen or, you know, they get beat up or whatever. You know, that happens to people, right? And uh, what provoked that? It just suddenly that happened. You know, suddenly people, you know, it's, they say, well, they got possessed or they suddenly just, you know, there was just a force that put them on you and then they, you know, like, okay, let's look at the more modern example of the political riots, you know, the mob mentality. Something takes over and they just, you know, they will just do every bad thing. They will burn cars. They will rape women. They will, you know, beat people to death. Right? And so you have... Uh, uh, so, so you can look at a lot of things like that. You know what I mean? But it's, it's all... Um, you know, it's it's not like the gang stalking exactly because that's that's totally multidimensional. You know what I mean? And where this this could be more like a powerful demon taking over a person and then they turn on you, something like that. Or you don't know that person. You thought you did and then you don't know them because they are not the same person. Then, lo and behold, once you point your finger and you go, you're not, you know, the same person, then they are again. You know, thus, you're crazy. No, you're not crazy. You just experience the thing the way it works. It's you see it, you point it out, then it flips on you. Start keeping your mouth shut, right? Because you don't want to be labeled as nuts. But I tell you, it's easier to believe in what I'm talking about than it is in a fixed reality. There is no such thing. We were born into a fluid Reality, that is, uh, change is the constant, okay? And, you know, I guess now this whole little fad going on, the Mandela effect, I guess, this, this helps me to really bring all the rest of its stuff out and, and connect the dots. Because, see, at the end of this little journey we're on, there is a... There is a uh, a benefit. The benefit is you being empowered. Me being empowered. There's a benefit. Uh, there, there, there's, a, there's definitely an um, uh, incentive to keep going. Like, you have no choice anyway. Because if you're going to say, well, I don't see that stuff or I'm not going to pay attention to it, it's impossible because then you go look at, I have a globe here, 20-year-old globe. And it's exactly the same as Google Earth. Now, I know that Google Earth and it was more updated than these old globes. It, they couldn't be the same. It's identical. And, 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 and at the same time now, when I first looked at South America, well, let's, just, let's just set some you know, uh, things here. When I first looked at South America, it was underneath. I should have taken a picture of it, but then the picture would have changed. Okay, It was underneath... Um, Florida, you know, I mean, was all pushed way out 
but but part of it was underneath Florida. When I looked yesterday, I, 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 I was going to forget about this. And then it was further than Florida. I'm like, that's not possible to be further than Florida. You know, it's, it, it was already bad enough. You know, it was looking like it was stretched way over. And as I look in the Gulf, you know, the Gulf of Mexico, and I see the um, where Venezuela is and all that, it's almost becoming like a, ga- a barrier, like they're barrier islands now for, for hurricanes. And then people say, no, they've always gone through Cuba and, you know, Bahamas and on their way to Florida. And I remember more they could do a direct hit where they didn't hit any island. They just went right there to Florida. Now you can't do it. There's no way directly to Florida anymore. You've got to go over these islands. Uh, and yes, I'm positive that um, it never looked like that because I remember what it looked like. I remember it was South America was pretty South of America more. And so I checked other maps, you know, just to make sure because it could have been like maybe I thought because Google Earth was more accurate being satellite. It's now we're getting a more, you know, more realistic picture of the way it really is where the maps of the past on these globes and everything wasn't quite accurate. And so I was kind of on that track. (laughs) That lasted about five minutes until I went and looked at my old globe over here. And guess what? There was a landmass that the the North Pole was there and all that, the ice cap on the North Pole. It was all there on this uh, globe, and it looks exactly like Google Earth. And, And South America actually moved a little bit more in the last couple of days. And I'm just like, okay. And it, it's on the globe, and it's on Google Earth. And the, the globe and Google, Google Earth, they, they, uh, they, they, you know, they're both the same. I went to look at uh, Australia because I was curious about the uh, landmass that is uh, just west of Australia, what that is, because I don't, I don't know what that is. You know what I mean? So I went back to the dazed and confused uh, still shots of the globe that they're using, 